Hey guys, so this is a quick video on why we have stopped doing eight week challenges at the Fit Dad Lifestyle. Now eight week challenges have been around for the last five to 10 years and especially in the last couple of years, they've got quite a lot bigger with um, you know, everyone going online um, personal trainer wise because gyms have been shut down due to the pandemic and everyone's making that switch to try and make things easier, which is you know not a bad thing. And the before and after photos that have been marketing the eight week challenges are getting worse and worse and worse. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, I've been around the industry for about 10 years now. Um, you know, there's some legit people out there. There's some legit trainers out there who, you know, do these before and after photos and document everything and provide all the history, you know, which is great. And that's how it should be because, you know, as a customer or as a potential client, you actually want to be looking at something that, you know, this person achieved legitimately. And where this is going is I've also seen a lot of other before and after photos or transformation photos or eight week challenge photos that are marketed for this particular challenge as, yep, join our 30 day shred. Whereas those same photos were on the last 12 week program and the eight week program before that, just the dates and the, you know, things have been changed around. So, you know, that's one thing that you as a consumer and as a potential client for a lot of these different eight week challenges, if you choose to go down that way, need to look for, do a bit of research and have a scroll through their social media or have a scroll you know, on their website. Make sure that that same picture and same person isn't used for a 30 day shred over here, a 12 week shred over here and a 12 month transformational photo over here. Um, you know, and the other thing, you know, and I guess point two is the comparison to others. You know, you might see Max over here who has done an absolutely amazing job in a potential eight week period and you know he's crushed these goals and you go geez I, I look like him on the left I wonder in eight weeks if I can look like him on the right but you know nothing about Max you know nothing about his training schedule you know nothing about his you know genetics you know nothing about his history over the past 10 years you don't know if he is a father you don't know if he's a busy professional, you don't know if he's a FIFA worker, he's unemployed or, you know, all these different things that can, you know, have an effect on the variable on how he actually got those results. You know, because at the end of the day, the training that you're doing might only be 30 to 60 minutes a day or 30 to 60 minutes, you know, three or four times a week. Your nutrition is the other, you know, massive component to that, but that's still only three to six, you know, either big meals or small meals a day, depending on what you're, you're targeting. So, you know, then you have to look at everything else. Does he still live at home with his parents? Does he have a wife that's supportive? Is he sponsored by a ready-made meal company? Has he got a fast metabolism? Does he have the responsibilities of, you know, being a father and having to, you know, juggle work, family life, kids, after school commitments, and everything else. So there's a lot more that goes behind the scenes of these before and after photos that you don't necessarily get to see on a quick visual glance and, and promotional, you know, um, picture or promotional video because, you know, their life and their transformation and their journey is completely different to yours. And that's okay. But you've got to understand that comparing yourself and comparing what you might go through compared to what they go through is not as easy as, you know, they started like that and it's gonna end like that. Because there's a thousand different variables and a thousand different, you know, days of, you know, previous history and previous things that they've been through that are gonna, you know, change the way that you actually go through your journey through that eight week. You know, and a lot of these photos and people are getting smarter. You know, trainers are getting smarter, marketing teams are getting smarter. They can't doctor, they can't photo show, uh, shop, and they can't edit things like they used to. You know, they need to be a lot more legitimate these days because the, the market is flooded because of obviously the pandemic, everyone's gone online. So, you know, people are starting to realize, you know, who are the cowboys out there just trying to make a quick buck? And who are the people out there who are legitimate? And there's a heap of legitimate ones, don't get me wrong but there is a lot of people out there 
And, and usually, and I don't really like to say it, and I won't mention companies, but usually it's a lot of these you know, quick fix pyramid scheme type companies are the ones that are reusing the pictures and reusing the, the promised lands just because they want you to sign up and then they want you to get 20 people under you to sign up because they make money on you and then they make money on every other single person below. So you know, if it's a legitimate trainer out there, training app and establishment that has no higher motive, then they're probably a lot more legitimate or a lot more you know, chance of being you know, true to what they're actually saying than a lot of these internet marketing companies out there that are just trying to make a quick buck off you, then me, and then everyone else under both of us. The other issue that we found with eight week challenges is people get so restrictive. You know, they get so restrictive in regards to, I can't eat this, I'm gonna snap you know, this out of my diet tomorrow, I'm all of a sudden gonna only have this for breakfast, this for lunch, this for dinner, have to drink you know, eight more liters every few days than what I was, I have to, you know, have this supplement, that tablet, you know, this injection, that scan, and, you know, it just gets overwhelming. You know, you might be able to do it for the first few weeks. You're going to get a bit tired and sick of it for the next few weeks after that. But sustaining it for eight weeks is a real problem. And this is why you see so many people that go join the local group fitness you know, challenge or they go join one of these online eight week, you know, programs, blow out for the next eight weeks because they just physically, mentally can't sustain it any longer. You know, they get to the eight weeks and all of a sudden that pizza, that Big Mac, that, you know, burger, that um, donut, that six pack of beer, it becomes very inviting because they've completely taken it away for eight weeks after probably binging for eight years and then all of a sudden they're like, well, I'm missing out on X, Y, Z, this isn't sustainable, I can't keep eating you know, a thousand calories a day and I can't keep this training schedule up. So what we recommend guys, to avoid that yo-yo effect of going great for eight weeks, binging for eight weeks, great for eight weeks, binging again for eight weeks, is try and find something sustainable. You know, and that starts with the mindset. Some, you, you know, because you can look back one year, five years, 10 years, you know what type of fitness you enjoy doing or what activity you like doing that keeps you active. That could be hiking, it could be mountain bike riding, it could be surfing, it could be Zumba, it could be snowboarding, it could be going to the gym or it could be a group fitness class. Whatever it is that you enjoy doing, you're gonna stick to that longer. Because if you're just doing something that you feel you have to do because that's what X in the photo did, then you're gonna get sick of it very quick. So whatever it is that you enjoy doing daily, do more of that because you've got a lot more chance of sustaining that for the long term than you do if you just keep going for the quick fix. The next thing is with your nutrition. Don't go cold turkey and try and change everything in a single day. You know, start with changing your lunch for the next week and then look at changing your snacks for the week after that. Then try and increase the water a little bit more over the next few weeks and then look at the breakfast and slowly do it so it becomes a habit. Don't just go cold turkey and change everything in one day because it's not sustainable. You won't be able to maintain it for the long term. You need to do it in a slow, steady, gradual pace and do it in a way so then it becomes a lifestyle habit for you, for your family, for your children and you can maintain this for the next you know, three, five, 10, 20 years. Lastly, you need to understand that everything you do needs to be on the same page with you and your partner or you and your family. You know, you don't want to be eating, you know, chicken and broccoli over here whilst your family's having fish and chip night over here. You need to be on the same page and by doing that, you need to be doing it in a balanced approach. You know, the best way is to go 80% eating as good as you can when you can and the 20%, save it for that pizza night that you have with the family. Save it for when you're at the theme park and your child wants an ice cream with you. You know, don't go without just because you're trying to do this. Because chances are, if you just go without, you're gonna end up back here anyway. So why not enjoy it the whole way? So the best way to do it is typically dinners at night time or any meal in your house, you're in control of. You know, you've got the ability to keep it as clean as possible. 
This goes for potentially, you know, lunch at work as well. You're in control of that. The things that you might not be in control about are parties, weddings, funerals, Christmas, Easter, you know, all these different events. You may not be in control. You may be getting invited to go somewhere and that somewhere might be dishing up something that typically isn't in your di uh, diet. But it doesn't mean you should have to, you know, feel left out or feel out of place and say, oh no, I can't have that on, on a diet. Enjoy it for that small moment because it might only be one meal for the whole week and that one meal isn't gonna break the bank on all the good things that you're doing. So guys, this is why we're not doing eight week challenges anymore and hopefully it's given you a little bit of an insight if you look into something in the future to the things that you should look out for and the things that you should be doing that are a little bit better and a lot more sustainable for the long term. Have the most amazing day and we'll speak to you very soon.